Good morning, Centre for Effective Living community. It's Valerie Ling, clinical psychologist from the Centre for Effective Living. How are you this morning? It's um, it's a pretty cold where I am. I'm just going to flip you over and show you where I am. I am actually channeling my inner childhood today, this morning, and actually sitting at a playground. Uh, the truth of the matter is it's school holidays and it's been a series of working at home and I'm feeling pretty cooped up. So I thought I'm actually going to step out this morning. I wanted to share with you uh, an incident that actually occurred to me yesterday, which believe it or not kept me up last night. I don't really like to have my sleep interrupted. It's really important for me to maintain balance to get sleep, but I was kept up last night and I figured if it was something that kept me up, it probably was important. So here's the story. Every year, I rather than thinking about how can I maximize my private health insurance and book into every possible appointment I need to have, I just make it part of a routine, a start of the year routine. I select um, a, a list of books that sits by my book stand to feed my, my mind and my soul, and I also book in myself and my loved ones into all the necessary health and medical appointments for the year and we get a great idea of where we all are with regards to our health and we implement uh, whatever recommendations are given to us by um, the various professionals. Now I have to confess, yesterday I actually, because I was hurrying and I just wanted to get things done and strike things off my to-do list, I actually went to a particular professional, health professional that I had no relationship with. And I took my loved one uh, to book that appointment in. Now we do have in this particular field someone that we go to every year. Um, my family member feels very comfortable with. It's a thorough. They have a great rapport, a great relationship. When they come out, you know, they're laughing and, you know, it's like a, hey, it's so nice to see you again this year. Can't wait to see you next year again. But this time around, I just wanted to get it off my to-do list. And so we went to someone that we didn't know. Now it was fine. It was very professional. It was wonderful. Um, we got the details that we needed. Hello, if you're watching me live, uh, do say hello and click a little like button and I'll know who you are and that you're there. And, and you know, by and large, we walked out of, the, out of there um, with what we needed to know. But even though we walked out of there with what we needed to know, it just didn't feel like what we needed to know was coming from someone who knew us. And that really made a difference for my loved one because rather than the experience that I've had in, in past years when we've done this, where they're actually feeling quite settled, even if the news is not fantastic, they actually came up feeling much more anxious than, than I anticipated. And that anxiety actually then uh, led to us not being able to move to our next steps, which is to take some next steps to put into place whatever course of action that the, the um, health professional had given to us. This is very unusual. And in fact, it got to a point where I said, you know what, do you want to just have a break and let's just sit down and regroup, we'll have something to drink and let's just touch base with how we're feeling about all of this, typical psychologist. And when we did, this family member actually said, you know what, I just want to go home. Um, and, and they went home feeling unsettled. Now that was the thing that kept me up last night and I thought and thought about it. I'm a health professional myself and I realized that it actually makes a difference when you have a relationship with someone. It also actually really makes a difference when you've already kind of had some kind of meeting or experience of the health professional that you're going to see because it's about relationship, it's about trust, but it's also about vulnerability right you want to actually be able to have a taste or or some sort of assurance that the person that you're going to um, doesn't just know their stuff but is someone that you can connect with and so first thing this morning uh, as I've had some time to reflect to start usually start my mornings in a reflective space I've actually decided that we are going to go back 
<laughs> it doesn't matter if it costs money. It doesn't matter if it's uh, it, now uh, another thing on the schedule. We are going to go back to that health professional that my family member knows. And they're going to come out of there feeling so much more soothed that uh, they've been seen by someone who knows them. So I just want to leave that thought with you when you're actually thinking about or if you have been thinking about seeing a psychologist. That's probably one of the reasons as well why I've implemented the free emotional health checks. It's particularly for yourself or your family members or friends who are having that difficulty taking that first step to come and talk to somebody and to feel vulnerable. You know, you get a, a short taste of what it's like to see a psychologist and you get some indications really of where you are, whether it would be beneficial for you to actually have more sessions with a, with a psychologist. And the bonus is the, the ice is broken. You've already seen someone or your family member has already seen someone. There are no obligations. They can pretty much walk out of there and not expect um, to have any anybody uh, judge them or, or, or be negative to them about. So I'll leave you with that thought um, and also just encourage you uh, to, yeah, to, to, it's okay to to feel vulnerable to take that first step and it's actually okay to feel like you need to connect with someone um, at a personal level. So just leaving you with those thoughts, it's the small steps, they often lead to the big steps.